Hello. Um, in this video, we, I'm going to show you how you can uh, deposit money in your PayPal account. It's something which confuses many people. And uh, we're going to see how you can um, link a card in your account. I know some people know how to do this, but um, some people get an issue doing it. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can do it and how you can generate actually um, a virtual card which you can use in your PayPal. And uh, thirdly, we're going to look at um, how you can create maybe a new voice and maybe how you can uh, request money on PayPal. Yeah, so let's uh, go right away and dig into it. This is my account, this is my PayPal account. I have a paper balance of zero dollars. Okay, so um, most people, when they say they want to deposit money, most people want to um, want to use their PayPal to pay for something online. Okay, and that is fine. But I always tell them like depositing your money here is not needed because when you're paying on PayPal. You just have to link a card actually. All right. It's fine. You can, yeah, you can deposit money and it comes here. But you can just have a card in your account. So when you have a card in your PayPal account, when you go to pay, that money is deducted from your card, your bank account. So uh, it's not necessary you for you to add money on your paper balance but if you need to have money in your paper balance here if you don't want to use a card you can maybe request someone there is a request you can request someone to send you some money in your paypal account or you can just tell someone to send money to your paypal email okay now that brings you to another point that not every account can receive a payment. If you look at my menu, I'm using a computer, you see that I have an option of pay and get paid. So if you don't have an option of get paid, it means you can't post money here because some countries are restricted, okay? So please note, if you don't have a get paid or receive a payment, it means your account, you can't actually post money in that account or you can't receive money in that account. If you can't receive money in your PayPal account, it means you can't deposit in your PayPal account, but you can pay with your PayPal account using the card, okay? So we're going to see options how you can deposit money in your PayPal, but as I've told you, like, if, you, if your account can't get paid, it means you can deposit money here, but you can link a card Okay, in this section, such that when you when you want to pay, money is good from the card. Hope I'm clear. It's like no some accounts are allowed to send payments depending on your country, and some accounts are allowed to pay but also to receive. So if your account can't receive, it means you can't deposit money in your PayPal account. Depositing that money means coming here, okay? So remember, you want to deposit yourself money on your PayPal account. And uh, if, you can, if your account can't receive, then you can't post, but you can just leak a card, okay? You can just leak a card. If your account can receive, you can just tell someone to send you some money so that it comes with your PayPal balance, or you can just generate an invoice and you pay, if you generate an invoice, that invoice, you can pay to that invoice using your card or using another person's account, then that money can come here. But the problem with that is sometimes PayPal transactions take, come on hold, especially for new accounts. So I usually recommend using a card because you will deposit money you want to use it, then you deposit money, it will come on hold for free for three days or 
more than three days or seven days or 21 days, you know. But someone who has linked a card, it's uh, money is available on your on your card. Like when you pay, paper just picks it from your card. So there's nothing like delay. So that's why I insist on having a card. Okay. For those from, uh, uh, if you're coming from a country like Uganda, you can generate um, a virtual card using these steps. All right. The Airtel Money Company in Uganda allows you to generate a virtual card. So it's cool. You can just do 185 star seven hash on your Airtel phone. Then you can follow the steps, then you get that card. Then you come here and we're going to link it. But if you have a card, you can just follow these steps, okay? So I'm going to click on see details. Um, let me pick up a card. Okay, you can link a bank account. You can link a credit card. Okay, so let me click on a credit card. So uh, when I link a credit card, I'm gonna put the, my credit card number. The credit card number is those long numbers on the front of your card, okay? Those long numbers, okay? So mine starts with five, two, two, five, uh, one, zero, zero, uh, zero. Three one seven. Okay. Nine eight five five. I'm going to delete this card, so don't bother. You know, keeping record of it. <laughs> All right. So um, it's expiring in uh, there. Okay, uh, I'm just using this as a demo card, okay? So I'm not going to show you my security code. Okay, let me just make sure it's correct. All right, so I'm going to link my card. So make sure you put your card number. Expire, expire date is usually on the front of your card. It's a math and yeah. And security code is, uh, those are three digits behind your card. Okay, you go on, on the right, on the, on the back of your card and look for those three digits. If you're using Airtel virtual card, uh, the card they give you, like they just show C CVV. So you use those CVV details, okay? So let me link my card, okay? All right, uh, your card has been linked, done. Okay. So if you want to, um, okay, this is a virtual card. Let me actually give it a name. Um, give it a name. Okay, um, so uh, you may need to confirm your card. Confirming your card, uh, it means PayPal will deduct some money from your card. Uh, Sometimes it's like $1, but it's usually below $1, okay? So when you say confirm your card, usually there will be a transaction made on this card and that transaction will be refunded actually after confirming your card. So it's like when you confirm your card, paper sends a code and you can access that code in your mini statement. You can use an ATM and, and uh, request for a mini statement. You can get those codes which will come on your statement and patch them in. Then that's how you will link your card, okay? Uh, you can leave comments uh, on, my, on this video if you have a problem confirming your card. I can do a video about 
confirming your card. So I've put a card here, all right? So it means my account, I don't need to deposit any money. I can just say, I can just pay with my account and the money will be deducted from my card. So as simple as that, all right? It's as simple as that. Uh, let me just, all right. So I think in mine, uh, if you didn't, if you don't have money actually on your card, this process may not work, okay? So I'm not sure if I have money on my on that card, but let me just try to do it uh, here again. So you make sure like the card that you're using um, has some money on it, okay? And uh, because PayPal to make sure like that your card is yours, uh, they'll try to um, get some money. So I think maybe the name, uh, let me just confirm the name. So you, you just make sure that the names on your card are exactly the names you put in your, in your nickname. Some cards usually echo the, the names, but in case they ask for a name, you put the names which are on your card, okay? So that's the procedure for doing that. Then how do you generate an invoice? So how do you request the money to be paid? Uh, there are some quick links here, PayPal provides like request money. I can just click on request money, okay? If you don't have request money, it means your account can't receive. And uh, you can check out some of the, my videos I made how to create an account, which can receive if you're from a country which is restricted from receiving by PayPal. There's, oh, there's a way around that, how you can do it. So you, you look for my videos which I've done about that. So if you want another option, if you don't want to leak a card, you can request money. Uh, like you request money, someone to pay you so that that money can be deposited. So it's a matter of typing a name here or email, I think email is better. And the good thing if, uh, usually if that name doesn't exist, usually PayPal will tell you like, hey man, this, this email doesn't exist, okay. I think this is fine. So when you do next, the user will get a uh, notification that uh, you requested him, you have requested him to pay some money. Actually, next step would be like filling the amount that you want to be, uh, that you want to be uh, sent. Let me click on next. All right, this is where you put the amount, like uh, maybe I want $20. You have to mind about like PayPal has uh, has two last the small points, so you just do like two. If you want like two dollars, you have to write another two zeros. That is one. That is two. So these are two decimal. So this is two dollars. Okay. Some people really get confused with this. So when you say request a payment, it means this, the receiver this is going to get a request of uh, making $2, okay? So uh, let me, for me, let me just cancel that. All right. So if you want to um, generate an invoice, you can do it from here. You just create an invoice. So with an invoice, you can maybe you want to, someone to pay you via invoice. You can create an invoice. An invoice comes with a link. So the receiver gets a link. So it's, on, it's also another option which you can use to get your account deposited, how you can post money in your account. But I was told you the best way is, uh, all right, things. The best way is to just link a card in your account. That's the best way, okay? Yeah, because some accounts can't receive. So if you have a card, it's fine, you know, yeah. So when you link a card, you just proceed and pay payment, whatever you want to send a payment to, the money will be deducted from the card. So you make sure that the card has money on it. 
All right, thank you. And uh, I'll appreciate if you give me a subscription.